We're basically a, a district of country villages, yet we're governed by an urban authority who, quite honestly, haven't got a clue. The picturesque area of Saddleworth is not exactly where you'd expect feelings to be running high over a battle for independence. But over 3,500 local residents are supporting a bid to set up a new local authority for the district. Councillors and the public have met tonight to discuss removing Saddleworth from the administrative control of Oldham Metropolitan Borough Council. Some people here feel that the council neither reflects the character nor provides the support needed by the area's rural towns. I'm not anti-Oldham at all, but it just is that you bolted on an old Yorkshire rural parish onto a declining Lancashire mill town and it doesn't it hasn't worked. No one can doubt the desire amongst You're many. always coming off second best and you're always not seen as a proper priority. You're not seen as basically you're, you're seen as relatively well off. So the problems and the issues, whether it be on housing, whether it be on, uh, for older people, these are not really addressed. The dispute stems back to 1974 when Saddleworth, which is in Yorkshire, was included in the local authority boundaries of Oldham Metropolitan Borough Council. Some feel that breaking away is not necessarily in the area's best interest. I think fine, look at it. But some possibilities could end up being worse than the one we've got now. All our problems about planning about government issues on green belts, they won't go away whichever authority we're in. They won't go away. So this tonight isn't the answer for those things. Let's stick to the issue and stick to what's best for Saddleworth. The discussions surrounding the issue are a potent mix of identity, politics and urban versus rural rivalries. While some think setting up a new local authority is a pipe dream, some campaigners intend to approach other semi-rural towns, band together and perhaps one day make that pipe dream a reality. Georgia Calvin-Smith, Channel M News.